Hey, welcome back to the Pythonic Accountant. So today I'm going to show you a package that I really like called Word Cloud, and this is fun for making word clouds. Um, it's a really nice step in data visualization and data analysis um, when you're really just trying to get a sense of what kind of is generally the tone of something that you're looking at. So today I thought it'd be fun to use um, heavy metal lyrics. <laughs> and so I found this data set that's at 228,000 songs um, from Kaggle. And um, the two columns we're gonna look at are song and lyric. And um, when you scroll through, you can see that there's a lot of you know rich looking stuff in the lyrics. Uh, the songs are pretty interesting too. Um, so let's just take a look and see what happens. I'm not gonna try to fit all 228,000 into uh, one uh, analysis because it just I tried that before and it was kind of crashing so what I was gonna do is just take a few different slices and just see what happens so if we start with um, let's say 50,000 and then go to 60,000 that's still 10,000 song names quite a bit um, and this is code that I just grabbed from the library here in the documentation they have a few examples that are easy to follow um, you can just kind of click through to the like the simple.py example. And so let's run this and see what we get. And so I'm using Google Colab, and what I had to do is I had to upload my uh, CSV zip file up here. And um, <laughs> so we've got two word clouds that are being created. Um, one is with bigger letters, and then the other one has a max font size, so it creates kind of a, a little bit less of a giant set of a couple of words that are just really big. You can start to see a theme here. You've got, you know, God, black, world, death, dead, stuff you might expect to hear in heavy metal uh, song titles. Down here, you can even see a little more of the continued theme. Um, let's switch to the lyrics and see what happens. Hopefully it won't crash because it's going to be dealing with a lot more words that it's feeding into the word cloud generator. And then what we'll do, uh, looks like it wasn't happy with that. Maybe there were too many of them. I don't know. Let's take, let's do a different slice and see what happens. Let's do 150,000 to 152,000. 2,000 words seems to be manageable. And uh, let's see what we get in this little slice. Oh, it didn't like these either. Why not? Hmm. Keyer. Oh, <laughs> I'm using the wrong column name. I think it's just lyric. Yeah, lyric. Interesting. That ex that explains it. Looking for data that doesn't even exist. So let's see what the lyric looks like for this set of slice that I grabbed. Hmm. A little less dark. I see less death and, and darkness and well, no heart. See, wow, I got the touchy feely side of songs. That's good. No, now, one life. I like it. Let's skip ahead and see um, what we find uh, at 160,000. Let's go to 160 to 165,000, just for fun. See what those lyrics look like. And we shall get darker or lighter. I don't know. Ooh. Also, um, maybe kind of a mix. I see blood down here. Uh, talk about God. Death, dark. The big ones is now, life, will. It seems kind of positive. Anyway, it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, one other thing that is really fun with this library is you can feed it in a um, like a, a mask of an image, which is basically just like um, I don't know, like a, a stencil, which you can find those online, and it's just like a black and white stencil. And if you feed it into it, it can create the word cloud in the shape. So that can be a lot of fun uh, for depending on the project you're doing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this library and this video. If you liked it, uh, click on the like button and click subscribe if you want to see more. I hope you have a good one.